The Security Center product provided by the ACAS program can greatly simplify the risk management framework process of discovering and remediating issues on your network. Tenable has built specific dashboards to focus on the sections of RMF that can be automated for a closer look at your security posture. One of the most useful dashboards for RMF is 853 Configuration Auditing, which captures the CCI families and their associated checks. This dashboard is based on Revision 4 and can be custom tailored to remove any checks which aren't applicable to your network. It gives a great overview of how the network is doing in relation to these families, with the subchecks available once you drill down into each control. This dashboard is only applicable to the automated checks. In order to populate this dashboard, you'll need to run scans against your assets using the STIG or CIS audit files depending on what is being scanned. These checks will normally require root or super user access, and if scanning a Windows machine, other considerations such as WMI and remote admin registry will need to be considered. Security Center comes pre-populated with the audit files and is updated through the use of the Security Center feed. To locate them, select Scans, Audit Files, in the top right Hit Add, search templates for DISA, and you can see the DISA STIG audit files here. Some of the controls are populated by CIS, which are also searchable. In order to use these audit files, you'll need to add them in using the arrow on the right side of the screen. In this example, I'll add a DISA STIG in. Give them the appropriate parameters and then build them into your scan policy. Once you have successfully completed a scan using these audit files, you should have information in your 853 configuration auditing dashboard. You can then take a look through the families by clicking into each one. In this example, we will take a look at the AC2 family failures. From this screen, you can also change the view to see everything by IP summary. This will show an IP list of failures, and clicking into each IP will list the subchecks. When an asset fails a compliance check, the severity will show as high. When it passes the compliance check, the severity will show as info. You can then drill down into each of these checks to see pertinent information. This particular check verifies the lockout threshold of the device is set to 3. The user is presented with the information on the check, the solution to fix the issue, and the policy value that determined the failure. 